All right. I thought I'd make another video of the classic 1CR. Since the other video was, again, kind of a low-quality cell phone video. So, but, uh, yeah, this one, um, yeah, this one's in pretty good shape. It's got all the original brown trim, kind of a chocolate brown trim. Uh, it does have HEPA filter. It's got a fill tube in here. It's all a custom converted uh, mini emptor there. But yeah, the 1CR was a unique machine because it was really its own machine. It really was. Um, it had its own... Like this head will not fit on a... Uh, and an Omega. I mean, it'll fit, but it won't push the the switch for it to run. And an Omega head, if you try to put it on here, there's actually a lip that goes around that opening that sticks out. It's the only Kirby that had that. So you really can't use any other head on this machine. It's it's the one CR head it has a groove cut out behind that that hole where the opening is. So that that lip fits into that little groove. Um, and it had its own motor. Uh, yeah, it's very, it's, it's really kind of a one model design. Uh, now you could put this head on like a D50 or a D80. And it would actually fit and run it because it's got the same uh, speed switch as those two models. But other than that, you can't put a D50 or a D80 head on this. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fit because of that lip on the fan case. But um, yeah, it's uh, last year for the old socket and bulb, and this one obviously has a custom bag. Uh, they did a beautiful job. Uh, printing out that little thing there there's that uh, the only thing I put a couple little dots actually I put four of them where they were supposed to put the patch and it didn't quite line up uh, right there so now I've got these black dots that you can kind of see there but I just pretend they're not there I mean I used a, a permanent marker so unfortunately I can't do much there but I don't worry too much about it but uh, there's just something about the 1CR. I don't know. I think, uh, you know, just a quick story. Uh, when I was probably 12 or 13, I uh, wanted a Kirby. Because my uh, aunt and my grandma had one I grew up with. And I was just obsessed with them. And uh, there was a 1CR at a thrift store. And I just had to have it. And it was $20, and I shoveled a couple of uh, people's driveways. It was in the winter time, and they paid me like $10 each. And I had enough money to, to go there, and I was so worried someone would have uh, had bought it. And I walked in, it was still there, and uh, I was so excited to get that vacuum. Uh, so the 1CR, you know, it was my very first model Kirby. It wasn't this particular one, but... Uh, you know, so I guess, you know, we all kind of fall in love with the first Kirby we ever owned or maybe the first Kirby we ever used, uh, stuff like that. But either way, we'll, we'll fire this guy up. These things got a lot of power. These classics just, they're just a beast. They really are. They perform well. But yeah, let's, uh, let's test it out. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know. I There's just something about the classics. They just have so much power. And I'm sure most of you can can hear the difference in the sound. Uh, you can tell it doesn't have the original fan, you know. Uh, the metal fan just had a sound. Uh, it was just different, and they would they would wind down a little slower because it was it was heavier. Uh, but uh, again, I convert all mine uh, just so they're a little stronger and all that stuff. Uh, but either way, uh, classic one CR. Second take. Thanks for watching.